Hello, my name is Linda Schlehetko and I'm one of the application specialists working for Hologic. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to talk to you about the main features of the Three Dimensions Mammography Unit. The gantry and the C-arm have been designed with ergonomic features that maximise ease of use for the mammographer but minimise patient discomfort. So what I'm going to talk to you about first is actually one of the new features, which, uh, which are the new controls here. The radiographer is able to move the tube head away from her or towards her without actually overstretching or crouching down. We also have automatic movement just by pressing these two buttons here, which brings the tube back into the center. One of the other really nice new features that we have is actually smart MLO positioning. So if I position the tube in the MLO, what I can do by pressing this button here is move the tube away. By moving the face shield as well, I have much easier access and I can position the patient much better. This is quite a nice feature as well for disabled patients because it's easy for them and for us to position. When we're doing tomosynthesis images, the patient will have her head against here. And as the tube is moving over, it moves independently of the face shield. So the patient feels much more secure when she's standing here with her face against it. All our systems come with Windows 10. Older systems are fully upgradable, thus ensuring future-proofing, and all our units are DICOM compatible. With every 3D mammography system, we have a whole host of paddles. We have three screening paddles, three cone compression paddles, two mag paddles, and our new Smart Curve Breast Stabilization System. This new paddle is curved and follows the contours of the breasts. Patients who have used this paddle have found it a much more comfortable experience. This is the Hologic Acquisition Workstation and it only takes a few minutes from switching on to logging in. Once we get to this page, we can log in using biometric login. It's very simple and easy. And as you can see that the console moves at the same time. This is programmed in at the time of applications for each mammographer. The first page that we come to is the QA page. So if there's any QA that needs to be done, it's a gentle reminder to do so. We can skip this page and go directly into the work list. We can either click on the patient or we can use the barcode reader, which is positioned down here. When we click on the patient, it opens up the examination. At this point, we're ready to begin. The three dimensions can perform various examinations. We can do 2D images, 3D images, and a combined 2D and 3D image under the same compression. We can also perform Tomo HD images, which provide us with a 3D image and a synthetic 2D image. I'm now going to do a Tomo examination. The Tomo synthesis is taken over an angle of 15 degrees and it only takes 3.7 seconds. The image that comes up first is the synthetic 2D image, which is our intelligent 2D. And this is derived from the algorithms of the 3D image, which is acquired at 70 microns. If I then click on this button here, I can go through the Tomo slices. So I can just go scroll through the breast and find the area of interest so say, for instance, I was looking at these microcalcifications here, I know that these microcalcifications are at level 24. Using Termo HD, which is the 3D and the synthetic 2D, we actually reduce the radiation dose by 45% to the patient. The images can be viewed on a 3 megapixel monitor and then can be split. So here you can see the CCs on the top and the MLOs on the bottom. The screen can also be split into two. 
On the right of the screen, you can see our original synthetic 2D image, Seaview. And on the left of the screen, you can now see our new synthetic image called Intelligent 2D. Intelligent 2D is a 70 micron resolution image that looks more like your standard 2D image with improved skin line and contrast. The Affirm Breast Biopsy Guidance System is our solution for the three dimensions and it addresses the challenges of upright biopsy. The good thing about this system is we can either do 2D or 3D biopsies. The 3D biopsies are much quicker and there's less radiation dose to the patient. Hologic also have a lateral arm solution which fits onto the Affirm system and accesses challenging lesions in very, very small breasts. The source to image distance is 70 centimetres, which makes it much easier for biopsies. Um, and here we have our biopsy control module. So when we're at target, we just move it like this. And then we bring the Z value down. And then when we have three green lights, we are at target. With regards to QA, we follow the NHSBSP guidelines and we can customise the QA per department.